WTF is seven. It opens up to Dupont. If you don't know, then get to know. Welcome to the party. 12 elite men's and women's rugby sevens teams have been going head to head in some of the world's most stunning locations. The rugby has been epic. But rugby sevens is about much more than what happens on the pitch. It's one of the most immersive fan experiences out there. Each stop offers some truly unique experiences with food, music and entertainment all creating a festival vibe with so many things to get involved in. It's a truly unforgettable experience. Heading into Hong Kong, Argentina men are topping the table with a 20 point lead over Ireland. Australia are serious leaders in the women's competition but are followed closely by New Zealand, now only four points behind. Aside from the battles at the top of the table, the teams hovering near the bottom will have to fight for their place to stay in the league. With relegation to the Challenger Series looming for four of the men's teams and four of the women's teams, the pressure just went up a notch. Click below if you want to catch up with the previous action in detail, but stay tuned if you want to know WTF happened in Hong Kong. Cool tunes, fan cams, big fun moments and a live DJ accompanied the rugby on the pitch but the party was also vibing beyond the stands. Wild fancy dress and the fans came ready to experience the legendary Sevens atmosphere in Hong Kong. Seven! Complete with a stage, great music and killer moves, the best party in town wouldn't be complete without top DJs and live music. Acts included DJ James Haskell, Lolly Talk, Celine Tam, The Wailers, and true to form, the music well and truly brought the party atmosphere. And the rugby didn't disappoint either. But once again, it was the finals that delivered. Georgia Miller tries to get around and she's just so elusive. The way she can slide through tackles and Georgia Miller once again in a final comes up with a big play and in just the space they gave her too much room. Clyde flies into the corner. Oh, what a delightful ball onto the chest from Miller to Clyde. In the corner again, Michaela Bly. Quick tack, get in, and then she fights Cedric, and that is just what the US needed on the stroke of half time. Smith Cedric in. Woodman Wycliffe is there, and she's going to go with Michaela Bly. Fingers in control, and another flying finish in the corner, and it's another hat trick final for Michaela Bly. And there are white jerseys just peppering the US line. New Zealand the champions in Hong Kong again and in what style have they done it an absolutely dominant performance
inside the Hong Kong Stadium. I hope you can feel it, hear it, sense it, see it at home. There's, that's a nice shot down low again from Regan Weir, I think it was. It has been tight, it's been competitive. New stub, Scott Curry in the corner. The walking wounded Scott Curry has dived in the corner. And New Zealand have it for Andy Rush. Cody Vai scores for New Zealand. Now Buddy and Pasquet. And Pasquet from Stade Francais will score for France. But New Zealand are Hong Kong Sevens champions for the second year running. The Black Ferns and the All Black Sevens champions here in Hong Kong. Now with just three events remaining, there's hardly time to catch your breath as we move on to Singapore. Let's keep this party going.